huge congratulations. Dave, you here at the Winter Gardens. You've just beaten the number eight seed. You must be on top of the moon right now. I am, def I am 100%, I am. Couldn't have gone much better. What, what, what was it like and did it live up to expectations coming here for the first time? In the beginning, my expectation was to win the, in my mind, that I would win the first game anyway. But uh, I know it's going to be hard against Johnny. He's the top player. And, uh, but my confidence is so high at the moment, so I think I can beat anybody. What's the last couple of months been like for you? Because you've bulldozed your way in here on the European Tour and then at the, at the Pro Tour. What, what's the last couple of months been like for you? Sleepless. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, I mean, when I when I reach a final at the at the European Tour, and obviously I l missed one match start, um, I was I was happy in one moment and uh, disappointed in one moment because I should be a champion or I could be a champion. In uh, but that brings me to the point I could qualify for the world match play. Since six years, six years ago, I was I was in a in a same position, but I missed out. And uh, this time, I was thinking, have a good run at the at the place championship. Managed to get one time to the quarters, and uh, I'm here now. On that day at Barnsley, what was the last day like for you, knowing the only person that could deny you this was your World Cup captain? After after I knew that it was mental only because I went out and there was uh, I think three players still in who could uh, catch me up, but uh, it was afterwards it was just uh, Vincent and Menzo. Vincent went out. After Vincent went out, I really was more relieved because I told Mick, my manager, you're going to Blackpool. It doesn't matter with whom. But um, of course, in the background, you think you sh you should have been here and uh, you should you achieved it. You are uh, you've done well enough to be here. But if Mensa would won that tournament, fair play to him, and uh, I would be happy for him as well. This famous venue, famous stage, has done funny things to many a dark player. How did it feel walking through the back doors, coming in, taking a look round, and did? The venue live up to your expectations of what it was going to be like. To be fair, I thought it was bigger, bigger on TV because I, I always watched this tournament um, many, many years before, and uh, to be on that stage, playing on that stage, it's a, it's a dream come true. And uh, yeah, um, I managed to win, so I'm still in the tournament. You've talked about being at the top of your confidence that you should or could have won a title beforehand. Coming here. Do you genuinely believe that Roby John can go on and win the World Match Play the way you're playing right now? If I play good, yes. If not, the better player wins. Uh, but it, it depends on the, on the day. I, I know that I can beat everybody. It doesn't matter who it is, number one, number two, number three of the world. I don't mind. And I don't mind playing them. Um, it depends on the day, how they perform or how I perform. I give my best. If they don't, I try, try, I try to win. So, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, we've seen some great stuff from you on the Pro Tour and the Euro Tour. But do you feel like the TV stage is where you play your your best darts? Definitely. Uh, I'm a stage guy. Um, I love the show. I love playing on stage. Um, the show with the uh, two tribbles didn't show up today here in Blackpool, but uh, it definitely does in uh, Germany and uh, at the Euros. The crowd have to play with you if you want to do that. Today, I, I think they didn't play with me, but uh, it will come in the future. We've seen players like Dimitri and obviously Danny Knopper at the UK Open go from contenders to title winners on TV. Are they players you look at and stories you look at for, for inspiration for what you can do maybe this week in Blackpool? Definitely. Uh, Dim uh, like I said, uh, Dimitri I know since many, many years, over 10 years. And um, we also text each other. Mm. And uh, a few weeks ago I texted him, 
Dimitri, I'm, I'm coming to you. I am, I'll be a champion like you, and we gonna rock the world over. So uh, he's a really good friend of mine, and I'm, I'm looking forward to play against him. Do you see Dimitri's performance tonight? You're impressed? I, I am, I told him as well. Uh, I know how, how good he is, and um, his family is here. Um, I'm happy for him, so, uh, because it, it is hard to play in front of your family, if your wife, your daughter, your family is here, it, it is hard. Uh, but he managed to play really good and focus on his game. And yeah, we are both happy, I believe. Right, cheers for your time. Thank you.